Okay, so, you know, when you go messing with PVC, it's kind of weird because some of the things, like, don't fit at all, and some things, like, almost fit, which is kind of weird. So, you know, but anyways. So we got this for a completely different purpose. Um, we were just going to use it to cover something up, right? Is that what we got it for? Yeah. Exactly. Right. But then we came up, and this one actually, and they're called spud washers. They're for uh, toilets, I guess. Yeah. But anyways... We came up with this uh, idea because we need this for the hose to clamp onto or to, you know, stick onto. But this doesn't fit with any of these other things. No, nope, doesn't fit with any of these other things. So, what we tried, we thought, well, I wonder if it'll just fit in this thing. So we put this little split thing in there, put this in there, and I mean, it's it's actually a nice, I think it's easier to do it the other, the other way. And it's actually a really nice fit. It's good that it's hard to put in because that means it's it's really in there. So you can see it's nice and solid. We'll put some glue on there. I mean, right now they don't know what this is for, but we'll show yeah, it to you. Yeah. So this is what's going to happen is the the hose that we have that we just ran through there. We're going to plug that into the top of this. Okay, and then this is going to go onto the floor. We're going to have this run through the floor, like this, and then we're going to put another one of these on the bottom of the floor. We're going to push that up, and so what we're going to end up getting is these two things pushing no, we're gonna against use this one the floor. At the bottom. Oh, you're right. Okay, so we're going to get these two things like this. Obviously, the floor isn't this thick. It's only this thick or so. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to push this up and then we'll, we'll face it towards the back. We'll put our little screen in there and we'll be done. Now, you're asking why, why are we going through all this? Well, we want a good seal on that floor because that's our floor. I mean, if water gets in there, it could actually come into here. So we want to push these together so they're nice and tight when we in between the floor and then we'll seal it. So it gets a nice tight seal and then the glue just inside of here will also hold it. So we're going to see how that works. We'll be back soon. So in order to cut through these walls, you need a, a hole saw. And that's what this is. And you need one that's the perfect size. And to me, you know, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like that's about as perfect as it gets. The thing that we're unsure of right now is the, the thickness of the floor. I think it's about this thick from just like putting my fingers on it and measuring it and the feel of it because it, there's always a, a lip so you can't really get to the floor in any spot that it, you, so you can measure it exact. So I'm just kind of putting my fingers on it and I'm feeling it and I'm going by also what the walls thickness are. Now if it's twice the thickness of, of the walls then we're in trouble because we don't have a system to cut through that. Um, I guess what we can try to do is cut like a little ways pull it out and then dig out whatever was cut and then cut a little bit further so we'll see but so that's our next task and that's going to be pretty interesting so stick around for that one we need this to go through and not get any uh wires obviously and we're hoping that there are no wires um the so we can see the thickness of this pretty easily. So this is right there. So it's it's the same thickness as the wall, this floor. So it's going to go right through. Okay. All right. So you can kind of see. It. I mean, it's I right guess, there. What is this thing? That's a thing for wires to run and plumbing okay. and stuff to okay. run through. All right. All right. So, but the the other thing we want to make sure we miss. Let me see the camera up here is this metal piece here because obviously we need to cut somewhere right here is what we're hoping for if you can see it i think you should be able to see it but if we're just a little over we'll smack that metal and we'll be done with it so we got to make sure we're plenty far over because it looks like there's really nothing over here that's keeping us from you know drilling i don't know i think all these just come straight through the floor so you can see how these things were done you know, I guess this is factory stuff. It's pretty 
cheesy and pretty gross job, but it is what it is. So ours is, we're hoping to make ours a little bit nicer. Um, so now I gotta figure out exactly where to drill the hole. That looks like it's five inches from this spot right here. So five inches from that spot right there as well. Okay, so how, I, how I'm doing this is I'm measuring from here because it's the only visual aspect I have of where this piece of metal is. Oh, so once I stick it back in here, I look down and I see the metal piece is right here. So as long as I stick it over here somewhere, drill it like right in here, we should have no problem. And it's easier to drill. Okay. We're gonna put our big thing right here so it's easy to work on. I don't really care if it's in the way. There's plenty of room back here. Um, and that's it. So here we go. So uh, here we go. I measured it kinda somewhat and come to the conclusion that this is the best spot right here. I don't feel anything under here, feel anything there, so right about here. Okay. So yeah, we only pretty much have one chance, so here we go. Okay, it looks pretty straight. I'm holding it pretty straight. It's pretty good. I think uh, our power is So that's the start. I guess we got to go get some. So we got a new uh, battery. And I also noticed that there's like different speeds here. I think this one may have more torque. I don't know if that's what we need, but I'm going to try it on the normal speed first and see if what I was doing was something wrong. Okay, well, that went through a lot better. I guess when uh, you have a good battery, it works a little better. So now we're going to kind of go down underneath. Are you going to do that for me? So I, oh, go ahead and turn to me, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, it looks like it's thicker. The, the, the floor is thicker than this. So I gotta get these little pieces out of here and probably peel some pieces out of there. So um, that way we can dig further because we can't even, this hasn't popped out of the bottom. It's not popped out. I'll right? try to get what's in here out of here, which looks like it's not that much anyways. So, but still every little bit will help. That's the vinyl from the floor, obviously. So, not very thick. So now I think I need to get this chunk out of there. So I've got my little handy flat tip. It looks like it just comes right out. Just like a foam, foam block, there it is. So that's a good visual of basically what this whole trailer is made out of. Styrofoam. It's got the little plastic on the outside and on the inside. That's what it's made out of is styrofoam. Pull that out of the way. We should be able to drill a little bit more. So once again, what we're waiting for is to see this little tip right here pop out of the bottom because we want to do a cleaner look. We want to do this on the inside. So here we go. Whoa, it really cut through there. Okay, I feel like it's gonna pop through any second. Hear it? Okay, it should oh. pop through. You yeah, see I it? see a little hole. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now so we can have a, so now so we can have a little bit cleaner look on the, on the bottom, we're gonna, you wanna put this into the pilot hole that's come through the bottom, put that up so it'll be a cleaner, nicer cut when you come up through it as opposed to going down and have all these rough edges. So you always want to do that whenever you have that possibility. So now we're going to go from the bottom up. That would be perfect, I think. Okay, so you see the little hole. Put the middle of the drill in the hole. Make sure you got the hole, okay? Make that nice and flat, and then get her done. Oh shoot, got stuff all over the camera. So hopefully all this is is styrofoam and not some kind of weird fiberglass chemical. It looks a little shiny. So I'm gonna go wash this stuff off. But you can see we made a nice big hole. Now we're gonna stick all our other stuff through there. There's our 
There's our styrofoam. Honey. Okay, so now we need to put this in here. We're going to put the hose onto this. And we're going to put this into the hole. And then put this on, the, cut this to the correct side. Slam this up inside of there and then that. And then later, uh, we're going to put the periscope into the top of the roof. And it's just, we just need a little mirror inside of there and a little thing. And then we'll be able to look wherever anybody is at inside. So stay tuned for the, keep checking back all the time to, because we're going to have that in there, the, how to put a periscope into your travel trailer. So.